Welcome back to Silent Hill Shattered Memories. In the last episode, we explored some cabins, got into a nightmare, ran for a very long time, and finally ended up here, outside of the nightmare. Right in front of a bridge, we just came from this building. Speaking of, can we go back in? No, that's very good. I don't want to. And here, on the map, is actually a waypoint that we had a little while ago. We're just on the outskirts of Silent Hill. Exactly where we're going inside of Silent Hill, I'm not sure yet. I'm sure we'll figure that out. Oh, hey, you know what? Let's do something important. Not that. So, a long time ago, I went into... Where is it? The settings for the phone. And... I tried the different ringtones, and they didn't make any noise because I wasn't outputting the audio that goes to the uh, the the Wiimote, its own speaker, was actually where all the phone audio was coming from, but now we can actually hear him. So let's see what they are. That one's weird. That's annoying. That sounds like a space gun. Sounds like a terrible recording of a classic phone. I'm going to be boring here and, and just go with ringtone one. That's the best. <laughs> Do you think the ringtone that you choose has an effect on the game? This building only exists because you chose ringtone three. This person's wearing a red shirt because you chose ringtone five. Brant's Overlook. Overlook on February 12th. Yeah, something new every day. February 12th, 1730, Daniel R. Bryant and a group of 34 pioneers crossed Lake Toluca to arrive in Silent Hill. During the great winter of 1729, the group had lost over 80 of its members, most of them children. Arriving in the area, the pioneers set up camp here where the elevated position gave them safety. This river, one of the many that feed into Lake Toluca, was a source of water and food for the settlers. Years later, when he died of influenza in 1743, Brian's body was buried in town and this overlook was named in his memory. Oh. What the heck? Oh, there's a memory here. Or, or an echo or whatever. Uh, which button is the picture? Is it right? Yes, right on the D-pad opens that up. Stop it! Please, or I'll tell my dad! The dad? Your dad isn't here right now. Come on, you've been leading me on all night. No! Oh. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Um, I need to put a content warning right before that. I hope they got out okay. Fucking creep. Why is there still an echo here? Does that mean I need to take another picture, or is it just always there? I don't remember. No, nope, doesn't look like it. Scarf and flowers, maybe?
Midwich High School. So where does the name Midwich come from? I mean, obviously it's in Silent Hill. But there was Midwich Elementary School and now Midwich High School. So there's a whole Midwich line of schools. A franchise of schools. Home of the... Cuckoos? Maybe it's super common for schools to be named like that. I have no idea. Yes? Sybil. Right, they're trying to find me. Officer? I've been trying to get through to you. You had your phone turned off? No, I just... Uh, I guess the reception was out. Mr. Mason, you okay? Yes, I know where I am. I'm at the high school. Midwich High? In weather like this, the gym is sometimes used as an emergency shelter. I want you to go there. Emergency shelter? Well, maybe Cheryl was taken there. Yes, go to the gym. Wait there for me. I'm going. But if she's not there, I won't wait. I just can't. Sybil must be so exasperated. So we get to the halcyon days of high school. When I was starting out, the popular theory said it was their mom and dad that screwed a person up. But if you really want to screw someone up, I say, send them to high school. I bet you were fairly intense at school. Probably enjoyed all that learning. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to- Hold on for a second. Why is this person such a freaking creep? Is that the right word? Something about them just... I don't know if it makes me uncomfortable or just annoys me. I don't like them. I wonder if at the end of the game we'll find out that this this setting here in this therapist's office is something other than what we think it is. Like maybe this isn't real. Maybe this is just a memory. I don't know. We'll see. Throw out some words. Nod when they fit how you were at school. Shake your head if they don't. Ready? Jock. <laughs> no. Next? Slut. Nope. Uh, eh. Drunk. Ah. Uh, virgin. Mm hmm. Hmm. Bully. Nope. And slacker. Mm. Mm, no. <laughs> okay. Let's take a different tack. On the table, I've laid out a blank timetable and some cards with lessons on them. Pick out the lessons to show me your perfect school day. Don't leave any empty. There are only four periods, and I've allocated a very generous lunch. This is a weird exercise. Okay. So basically what subjects am I most interested in is basically what this is asking me. Um. Wait, how do I grab it? A plus B. Oh, there... There we go. We gotta wrap like the very center. Start out with some science. Um, eh, I don't really like math. Don't really like geography. It's not bad, but eh. Literature. Theater, and out of these... Math, I guess? Yeah. Done. Nice. If that was all there was to it, it would have been a breeze, wouldn't it? 
Come on, let's talk more about the bad stuff that happened at school. You're weird, I don't like you. Alright, so that's obviously going to change what happens in this school. But I wonder what. Got a waypoint for the gym. Cuckoo's News. End of season charity drive. Everyone is invited, invited to attend the charity drive on November 14th. Um, participate in games and entertainment to raise money for our chosen charity. 555 Talk. Ooh, that's a number. The Suicide Prevention Helpline. This great charity provides a fantastic service to teens statewide, so please come and spend, spend, spend. Cuckoo's Trick and Treat. October 31st. By Troy Taylor, magazine sports editor. Instead of dressing up as ghouls and spooks for Halloween, the Cuckoos traveled to Brahms to play the Falcons, October 31st. Le leading with a powerful first half performance and boosted by several strong juniors, FC prevailed 38 to 26. John Stevens, 12, 12, 12 what? 12 inches, 12 feet. I guess 12 feet? I, I don't know, sports. Uh, 12 feet through for a season high 122 yards with a 78% completion average. The quarterback also rushed five times for 30 yards and a touchdown. On the defense end, juniors Rudy Valdez and Todd Ramsey led the way with 14 and 16 tackles respectively. None of that really means anything to me. Or we can just get in by the window. Oh. The window opens to a shelf that just happens to have the key on it. That's very convenient. Oh wait, I didn't dial the number. 555 talk. Oh, that's interesting. You gotta kinda work for this one. So you have to do the numbers talk, but you don't actually have any of the letters displayed on the keypad, so I just had to go to Google to look up an, an image of what letters are corresponding with each one. So talk should be 8255. Yeah, thinking about it now, I mean, I wanted to do it just for curiosity's sake, but I did just, like, tie up a line that is meant for people that are suicidal, and uh, Harry's not suicidal, so it's kind of fucked up. Harry could definitely use someone to talk to at this time, but I'm pretty sure that line's meant for teenagers. Ew. Close cupboard after use. Some nasty chemicals, a dead rat. Wonderful. I think that's where I got the key from.
There's another number. Man, they're just throwing numbers at me. Tommy? Will... Will dot 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 for money or tequila? Oh, Tammy, apparently, is what the name is. Yeah, Tammy. Who's that? Craig? Nate? Is that you, Steve? Okay, I'm hanging up. Get your rocks off somewhere else. Yeah, it really is pretty creepy just to dial these numbers and then say nothing. I guess that's the... I'm looking for the gym. I guess this is how to get to the gym. You are here? So the map shows me going down here through B and then like in here, I think? Or maybe up here and then over, but I think we go to D and then down to the gym, something like that. Yeah, that's about right. Wait, is there another number up there? No, I gotta look at the graffiti for numbers. Could be anywhere. Like, what about this sign? Whoa. Right, 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 right. Not enemy, just a strong emotion. Whew. Choking game. All students, there is a craze at the moment for young adults to try what is often called the choking game. Don't be stupid, there is plenty of sensation and stimulation out in the world without needing to starve your brain of oxygen. Ugh. Choking game? Space monkey? Funky chicken? California high? Sounds fun? Tell that to the over 50 people who have died playing this game over the last 10 years. Dying is no game. The choking game is dangerous and can lead to permanent injury and in many cases death. Don't throw your precious life away chasing a buzz. I mean... Yeah? Obviously choking yourself is like super dangerous and not good, but that's just written like a sensationalistic anti-drug poster. Charbroiled Hamburgers, Wonderland. Wait, am I going in here? Oh my god, I'm going in here, yes. I'm looking for a number. Yeah, there's nothing back there. Okay, let's go in. Let's go to Wonderland. A little mushroom. Oh, is it? Wait, is it themed after like Alice in Wonderland? Why you have to be like this, baby? I know you're shy and stuff. That's how you are. But. But we have a connection. Why don't you trust me? All the other guys are getting... Yeah, okay, sorry, that's cheap. We're just getting a bunch of creeps. That's all the psychic echoes we're getting are just echoes of creeps. I don't know about Al 
No, that's definitely Alice in Wonderland, right? With a cat in the back? Pretty sure. If not, then it's just some generic, like, Wonderland fantasy, but no, I'm pretty certain that's Alice in Wonderland. I don't know. I don't know Alice in Wonderland very well, but I know there's a Cheshire cat. Follow the white rabbit. God, that horrible messed up music. Cheshire Cat's kids menu. White Rabbit's quick solo meals menu. Mad Hatter's tea party bucket menu. Aha, the wonder line, we have a number. Comments, complaints, praise, interested in what goes into our food. Want to hear about our latest offers and promotions? Or just want to speak to Chesh the Cat. Calls cost three dollars. I can't read the rest of it. Welcome to Wonderland! I am the Hatter and I'm here to help root you a cook! It's being key time, we have no customer enrichment agents to speak with you! Hey, hand off that tea cake! Time to change places! Wait, are you still there? <laughs> Was Rick upset because of Todd? Man, I didn't think that kid had any friends. And it's called the choking game. So someone got choked back here. Extra cleaning assignments. This doesn't look clean. Week 33. Essential franchise cleaning schedule still applies. These are extra tasks. Raw food and raw and cooked foods must not be stored together. Got a little bit of ice build up in here. My plastic perfect girl. This is feeling serial killery. So where does this exit go? Is that where I need to go? Well, it looks like that would lead out to the general direction where I'm going. Is it even unlocked though? Oh. What about the other door? Oh wait, it's not a door, just upstairs. Fry box and a bunch of cigarettes. <clears throat> Ooh, what are we in now? Suffocated forever. Oh, it's an ant in amber. 
God, to call it suffocated forever? That's such a horrible thing to call it. This place is totally neglected. Is this like a theater? A lot of like pinups on the wall. I'm wondering if Harry's gonna comment about any of it. That's why I feel a need to point at things. You wanna talk about that AC in the window, Harry? Oh, maybe it's just a bar. Hold on, does it say where we are on the map? Nope, no name. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I was... I was so angry. I, I just, I wanted it to be so perfect, you know? I guess seeing the, the wig kind of killed the moment. Y y you almost had it. More creeps. Yeah. cat house oh so I guess it was a brothel telephone number for rates and booking trust anyone who calls women females. I'm just looking at the billboards for numbers. That's what this game's become for me, is just try to find the numbers. just have to go all the way back and go out the exit of the uh, Wonderland. Let's try the exit. I don't think I've been here. Fascinating. Yeah, that door is the only way to get here. Oh, is that a number? Midwich High School, inquiries and information. Conditions 
strong emotions somewhere. This poster? Midwich High Senior Players presents a production of Connie, The School of Hard Knocks. Oh, Jesus. Look at you. Aren't you just about the most perfect schoolgirl there ever was? With those pigtails, I doubt there is any little girl in the world quite as perfect as you. Hmm. I'm noticing something here. Choking game. Yeah, we got two messages related to that. Pigtails, two messages related to that. So, the whole story isn't necessarily told in just one message. I guess you could find multiple pieces of it around the environment. So for pigtails, we have that creep in Wonderland talking to them. And then... Uh, look at you, most perfect schoolgirl. Uh, that was either like... I don't know, that sounded creepy too, but that wasn't the same guy, right? That sounded more like a father figure? Dad, probably. But it sounded creepy. Sexual. Everything we hear is just creeps. Creeps non-stop. I think the only echoes that we've seen that aren't creeps are the first two. The first one where we saw Cheryl on the, the swing. And then the second one... Or actually, maybe no. Yeah, the swing was first, I think, or maybe it was second. And then the other one was the uh, the the actual good memory associated with that TV. And I think that's it. Oh, it's got nails holding it in. Can I just pull them out with my hand? Damn, Harry, you got strong hands. Okay, we're working our way inside, slowly but surely. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to head deeper into Midwich High School.